So you guys know, I recently got a kidney transplant, but what comes along with the kidney transplant is taking tons of meta. You guys, I'm on four different types of medications. I'm on Celset, I'm on Prograf, I'm on Prednisone, and for a little bit longer, I'm on Bactrim. So I'm taking tons of medications and they all come with side effects. Yes, it's doing something good, but on the other hand, it can cause other issues. And that is what I'm worried about. So before I took the medication, I wanted to do a little bit of research about what my body's gonna go through. Is there gonna be any changes? So in today's video, I'm gonna discuss the immunosuppressant side effects. So if you guys know anyone that can benefit from these types of videos, please go ahead and share it with them. And if you're new to my channel, what's up? Take a moment and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. And if you've done that, welcome to the family. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. So when you get a kidney transplant, it's the doctor's job to find the right dosage so you don't get a rejection, but also low enough where you're not experiencing too many side effects. We already know that side effects is something that's going to happen. So in today's video, I'm going to be discussing the top 14 side effects that you can get if you're taking immunosuppressant drugs. First side effect is an increase of infections. Infections can definitely happen when you're taking these types of drugs. These are some powerful drugs. They're not like a normal little vitamin that you're taking. These are very toxic and side effects can definitely happen. So you need to look out for the signs of an infection. So the second side effect is the increased risk of diabetes. Also, when you take these medications, it can make your levels go up. For some reason, some people's levels increase and now they have diabetes because the amount of medications that they have to be on. So when you first get a transplant, it is a balancing act. It takes months to find the right dosage. And the doctors are playing around, trying to find out, okay, how do we not get you the rejection, but at the same time, not cause too many side effects. So the third side effect is an increase in blood pressure. I've had a lot of people tell me that their blood pressure is still high and that could be depending on the medications that they're particularly taking. Not every doctor or every hospital, I should say, would recommend the same drug. So there are some drugs that I'm taking that others are not. So it depends on the drug and how it reacts, but it can increase your blood pressure. So for example, prednisone, that is known to increase blood pressure. For me, my doctor has me on a very low dosage. I'm taking five milligrams once a day. So that's not too high. I try to keep everything stable enough to keep not only the lupus calm, but also to make sure I don't get a rejection. So it's just about the right dosage. So the fourth side effect, which seems to be very common after a transplant is weight gain. So many people have been saying that I have put on 50 pounds, 70 pounds, 60 pounds since the transplant. And that has to do with the medications. I'm not even gonna lie, I eat a lot now. These medications make me hungry on a daily basis. So late at night, I'm always having the munchies and I wanna eat, but I try to stay active. I'm always working out, I'm walking, and I'm just eating and not being active at the same time. It's a balancing act. So the fifth side effect is abdominal pain. Your body is not going to agree with all the medications at times. So the first time I was on Celsep, I used to have a lot of abdominal cramping. Um, it used to make me run to the bathroom a lot. So I was experiencing lots of that abdominal pain. But my second time, now that I'm on it permanently for the rest of my life because of the transplant, I've actually been holding pretty strong. I'm not receiving any abdominal pain other than the pain from the cut incision, but your body can react differently and it is okay. You just have to recognize that and let your doctors know when you start to experience those types of pains. So the sixth medication is just diarrhea, guys. Just gonna be honest with you. All these medications at once on top of, you know, the foods that we eat and everything that we do, it can cause an upset belly and you may have the runs. So if you're getting the runs all the time, I would suggest letting your doctor know. Don't try taking anything else to stop that. Just talk to your doctor and maybe they can figure out that balancing act for you because it can allow you, especially in the beginning, because you're not used to taking all those medications at once, it can definitely send you to the restroom. 
So the seventh side effect is either hair loss or major hair growth. The first time that I was on that medication, I lost all my hair. I mean, everything thinned out. I have some previous videos you guys can look back at where my husband had to just shave off my hair because my hair was just falling out really bad in chunks. But this time around, look at my hair. So I completely cut off all my hair last June. That was the last time I got a haircut. So within a year, my hair grew this much, and I'm so excited that this time around, I'm not experiencing the hair loss, but I'm experiencing lots of hair growth. So a tip that I can give you is never stop taking your medications, no matter how you're feeling. Talk to your doctors, because you don't want your new kidney to get rejected. The eighth side effect that I've learned about is swollen gums. Some people's gums tend to swell up, Mine's have it and I'm completely grateful that it has not, but some of you may have experienced that. If you've experienced swollen gums, please leave it in the comments and let us know some of the side effects that you're actually receiving from taking the immunosuppressant drugs. The ninth side effect is bleeding and bruising very easily. So for me, my body tends to bruise a little bit easier than it used to. My body's very sensitive, even sometimes it hurts, um, but I don't, just because the color of my skin, I don't show as much bruising. So it, you'll see a little bit, but it's not much of a discoloration. But when it comes for bleeding, I do have to, you know, hold down that spot for a little bit longer than usual. And that has to do with the medications that I'm taking. So the 10th side effect is the thinning of the bones. These medications over long term can cause your bones to start to deteriorate. So for me, my doctor's actually about to schedule a bone density test. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are doing that, but I have to get a bone density test because they need to see where I'm at and is that part of the side effects that I can be experiencing. They'll have something that they can look at over the years to see if that is starting to happen. So the 12th side effect is acne. I know so many people that have been saying that their skin is breaking out, um, they have all these spots all over their skins. Thank you, I've never had to deal with acne. Let's just thank God right now about that because even as a child, even as a teenager, my skin has always been clean and never had to deal with any of that. So let's hope that that continues. But for most people, they do experience some acne issues while taking these medications because it is a hormone, it's a balancing act, and everybody's body is different. As where I'm not experiencing acne, you may be experiencing acne because we are all different. So the 13th side effect, which I have to admit that I have, is mood swings. There are sometimes, as soon as I take my medication, like 10 minutes after, I just get really moody. My whole attitude changes. I can feel my body starting to change after taking my morning meds. And I get moody and I get cranky. And sometimes I just need to go alone in a spot and just kind of calm myself down. So if you are experiencing random mood swings, it's probably related to your medication. The fourth and final one, which is the most scariest one, is an increased chance of skin cancer. In my family, cancer runs through rapidly. So I was very nervous once I started taking this medication because now I have an increased chance of that. I am not claiming that. I'm just letting you guys know that there is an increased chance of getting skin cancer. So you definitely, if you start seeing things pop up on your skin, make sure you get with the dermatologist and to figure it out and point it out to your doctor because that's nothing to play around with. We already had to battle a kidney failure. We don't want to battle cancer as well too. So if you notice something, nip it in the butt, figure it out as soon as possible. Those are all the side effects that can come along with taking immunosuppressant. Anything in life can cause side effects. There is good because we are alive and we are thriving, but it's come with some risks. But to me, I'd rather take the medication and know that I'm alive every single day to spend it with my family and my loved ones. Let us know in the comments, what kind of medications are you guys currently taking? Not only am I taking those four, but I'm also taking a infusion called the Bella Infusion. Right now it's on hold because of what's going on in the economy, but there's tons of medications and sometimes you might have to switch depending on your insurance company. Maybe they're no longer allowing you to take that. And so now the doctors have to find another course of action just for you to get your medications. 
I just want to take a moment and thank you guys for all the love and support throughout this journey. Thank you for sharing and letting people know about my channel and what I'm doing for the kidney and lupus community. So if you guys enjoyed this video today, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't be afraid. Show the love, guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in my next video. All right, guys. See you next time.